no better way to finish off your day than a nice meal for my jelly bag. <laughs> you don't want zero problems, big fella. Yup. If one more label try to stop me, it's gonna be some dread So there goes Instagram, Twitter, no more streaks, Snapchat, and Facebook. No social media. I'll tell you why. Alright, so last week, um, Alright, so last week our Every Nation Victory Church uh, encouraged us to go on a fast for five days from January 9th to January 13th. So me and Gladden decided to take a different approach. So here's what we're doing. For the next five days, we will not be on social media. That includes for me Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat. So we are taking this step to delete our social media just to become closer to God in the same way one would fast. So the goal in all this, at the end of it, is to look back and, and that there's gonna be a huge result, at least in the way I perceive things. Hopefully I'll learn a thing or two on what's really important. And I think it's healthy just to stay off social media for a few days. So that's what we're doing. Uh, I hope you guys, if you're inspired by this, I hope that you try this yourself for five days. Doesn't need to be the same time I do it, but Take five days just to be off social media. See if you can do it. Try it at least once a year and see how you like it. This dude, I thought he was behind me the whole time. Wow. It's been a week now since I started doing this and I'm headed to practice now. I'm here at school. I'm gonna put this away. I'll see you guys in a little bit. What's up, man? How does it feel to be back? How does it feel? I haven't slept since 1 a.m. And I'm still grinding. All right, situation. We just finished practice. What time is it right now? 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. It's 11.50 right now. All right, he gets 11.49. He's a little nervous because he's just getting used to the camera, yeah. right? He's straight from the United States. I'm trying to work on this vlog, 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 vlog. This right here is my boy, Matt Salem. All right. He's the only other Phil M on the team. He's from Orlando, Florida, born and raised, right? Yeah. Matt, you got anything to say? What's up? No. How does it feel for the first time to not have social media during basketball practice? How does it feel? It felt different. You know, I came off of practice knowing that I didn't have to check my phone because of, of all the notifications that I'm used to getting. He's lying. He's, he's not. He doesn't get notifications. That's Matt's car right there. We gotta do a lot of than that. Yeah, he got oh, nervous. He started <laughs> he started swerving. See, I might not have social media, but one thing I can do is call my little sister and say, what's up? No, what do you do, no, young no, buddy boy? Me. This is your time to shine. It's you got something to say? <laughs> huh? I'm shook. I'm trying to control You're shook. it now. Oh, she's shook. This is, this is my no, sister right saw, here. We my my young prodigy me. over there. G baby is FaceTiming his siblings, so we try to stay in touch, right? Control. That's what we like to do. Good to see ya. <laughs> hey, you went to our high school. Though. All right. Oh, I go. promise from now on, I'm not gonna hold this down here. I'm gonna hold it up here, so y'all get the full view. Check this out. We got go karts here. We gotta do that one time. I think it's for little kids though. Oh yeah. Find a place to eat right now. Lombardi's. Lombardi's? I could do I could do some pasta right now. Let's go. Let's we're gonna pronounce this word, alright? You go first. Penne ala ala arabiata. <laughs> alright Matt, you're saying. Al ra ra <laughs> bibiata. <laughs> alright, it's pronounced penne ala ria bibiata. Alright. We've decided. This is this is like Boston Market, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah That's what it reminds me of. Right, let's see what we got here. No, this is really just like Boston Market. In my 19 years of life, I have never seen anyone. Hold their phone. 
the way you're holding your phone right now. Thank you. If I break my phone, I have to restart the whole thing. Like everything. Just Facebook, right? No, and Instagram. You don't know your password? I always change them. <laughs> We're trying to get this guy to do the social media fasting, but he doesn't even know his passwords any of his social media. So he's not deleting it. I'm just not gonna go on social media. You heard it here. We're gonna be watching. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Alright dog. Trying to get some basketball shoes. My old shoes are kind of getting beat up now, so I'm actually kind of feeling these, and I heard they were comfortable, so these look good. Kyrie 3, Team Red. Do you guys have the uh, Kyrie 3 Team Reds? Yes, sir. Do you have a size uh, 11? Size 9 and 13. 9 and 13. All right, thank you. Bye. They don't have my size. All right, tighten up town, you're next. Uh, I was just wondering if you guys had the Team Red Kyrie threes in stock. Yes, sir. You do, do you have a size 11? Size 11, I'm not much in that. Yes. They put me on hold. We do have a size 11 last pair. One pair? Okay, I can't reserve it, can I? Alright, they're breaking up. This happens all the time. See ya! I have one size 11 left, and the day is young, and I think I'm gonna go try to get me the last pair. Oh. <laughs> these kids just running in the street. Come on now, where's your parents at? Trying to find where exactly this Titan store is. I really, really hope that this pair is not gone by now. If you wear a size 11 and you're in the Philippines and you went down to Titan and you took this pair, then I hate you. They got it. It was actually the last one I put. One up on display, size 11. Yeah, shout out to Titan. Hook up. Titan's a cool place. You can go there, you can get your hair cut. And you can buy some fresh gear. Look at you taking the stairs. I see you. So I'll show you guys what I got tomorrow. A uh, little better review. And I also picked up a couple magazines from that store as well. Back to this original kind of vlogging platform. I kind of like making just normal videos. It's good to switch it up sometimes. How you feeling, Ben? Say something, bro. Good. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Stairs are getting easier and easier every time I take them. Now, I know that's muscle memory talking, or if I'm just distracted by this, so I'm not even worried about how it feels. But we're staying in shape out here. I have nothing else to say. See y'all later. They will try to stop me. They gonna do some crazy. Easy fans waiting in the lobby. No like that. When the problem with me So today I wanted to get a Bible verse for you guys uh, for our little daily bread that related to what we were doing in our little fast with social media and I think this related uh, to it uh, the best I could find. Uh, so I'm just going to start right now. First uh, John 2 verse 15 to 17 it reads, Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For everything in the world, the cravings of sinful man, the lust of his eyes, and the boasting of what he has and does, comes not from the Father, but from the world. The world and its desires pass away, but the man who does the will of God lives forever. When we took this challenge to get off our social media for a week, it really challenged us to, to get closer to God and think in a way that we wouldn't 
uh, necessarily when we had social media. I'll give you an example. We were in the car a lot today when we were going from place to place and I was bored and naturally what I do when I'm bored, I pull out my phone and I, I check either Instagram or Twitter uh, just to see what's going on. Even if there's nothing, you know how you, when you scroll the page you just try to find something, right? And so while I did not have that this time, I instead started thinking, I, I started looking out the window, I started talking, talking to my cousin um, about all our blessings and, and, and just stuff we really wouldn't talk about. Uh, with other distractions um, that exist. Anything we desire, anything we put before God that we seek to have that, ha that, that, that consumes our mind uh, rather than wanting to please Him are considered idols and they're distractions uh, from what really matters in life. And all these things that we desire, they, they go away. Anything that we want, any material possession or, or anything in general did not exist 15 years ago. If we know the reason behind everything we do and if we put God first before everything we seek and desire, then we are on the right track. Just some inspiration for you guys to end this vlog. That's it. That's all I got for you. Peace out.